asking my hands to be raised that he got out in here this morning. The Lord says, be careful for nothing. Watch ye and pray. For the hour has come. The land, in the land, in the land has come a deceiver. And he shall rise. And he shall explore. And he shall destroy many. He will not stop until he has conquered for his kingdom. This is not the way. Beware and trust no man, for this is the hour. God said so. There is a throne in the sky. And he who set it on the throne seeth all things. Beware and be careful for all things. God has come quickly into you. And he's making known to me that you have done. He's allowing you to know quickly before anything else be said. He has come. The Spirit has come into the Antichrist. Beware, for we live in, in that in this time. That time was prophesied of his coming. Now is the hour. Now is the hour. When you see these things come to pass as was spoken in the prophets. Beware, for it shall come to pass. You're living in the last days, in the very end time. Many will turn. Churches shall stand, but people will leave. All simply because God is coming nigh the earth. And they who are filled with the Holy Spirit will survive. You're living in that time. Raise your hands back. God gives his word quickly. Quickly. So beware. The time has come. The sealing of the seals. Not the sealing for God. Satan has come to seal, to seal those that belong to him. Make sure as the sermon will complete, the Holy Spirit is your answer. Amen. That's your answer. Amen. Get that. Amen. And you will see what I say. Get that. And they who have not we we'll go through the period of tribulation. And then the great tribulation should come. Beware. And I thank God for his warning quickly. For things are happening quick upon the earth. Everything is quick. I'm evangelist Patricia Turner. May you hear what the Spirit speak to the church. And know that when he speaks, it's true and it's real. For your hour has come also. They who are listening, know ye not that God is talking to the whole land. Yes. He who turns on the radio, let them hear what God is saying along with us. God bless you. And each one tell somebody your neighbor, I will hear and I will understand because God will open my understanding. God will open the mind. Yes. I pray for more of the Spirit to come into my life. Amen. Brother, somebody said, would you come up? You know, God, God is good. God is good. He said, I know not, but God will always lead 
Thank God I got it open. I just don't remember how. It was so wrong. But I'm working on now trying to get my feelings back because I need it. Mm -hmm. And I think if God wasn't working with me, I wouldn't be here today. I, I'd probably be home. But I'm still here today and I thank God for it. I just can't remember everything about it. I, even when I got to the hospital, I just couldn't remember. You know, I watched you come in every Sunday. You're still making it. Yeah. You're still making it. Yeah. And your memory seemed to be coming back. You know, a lot of times I'm sure it could stay. How would you come? I'm sure it could stay. Having a stroke affects the mind. Yeah, it does. Sometimes I lose my memory. I can't remember a lot of things. Like when I'm supposed to get something or like not, I got to be certified and I have to keep reminding myself that I got to get over and get my water and everything else to send back to them. You know, because I. I just can't remember how to do anything like I used to. It, it, it still comes from blood pressure or something. Well, it can, be, it can come from a high blood pressure or it can come from the, the heart not pumping correctly to the brain. What it is is, is the circulation is cut off some kind of way to the brain. They said I had a, what do you call them, an aneurysm? Aneurysm. I'm not in my brain. Yeah, what call them aneurysm? Aneurysm are, it is a blood clot that pop, explodes. It can kill you if it gets to your lungs. Like get a, to your lungs? Yeah. People can die from an, a brain aneurysm. You can die from a brain aneurysm because it's a, it's a big like blood clot and it just explodes. How does that become a big blood clot? No, nobody under the aneurysm. It's just a collection. It, it collects okay. and it, it it collects, and while it's collecting, it's stopping circulation. But then when it pops, it can go to your lungs or or you know because it it's a lot at one time and it, it can kill you. A lot of people have died from aneurysms. You can have one in your heart. You can have one in your your brain. You can have one anywhere that your veins it's are. It's a collection of mm -hmm. what? Yeah. It's um. I think it's very interesting. It's when your your veins are not, I can't think of the proper word. What's the word I'm looking for? Dilated. When your veins aren't dilated the way that they're supposed to, the blood's not pumping the way they're supposed to, and it's collecting, and it's causing a blockage. And that can develop into an aneurysm, which can be moved because it's not like plaque. It's not the same thing as plaque. It's blood, and if your blood starts flowing really quick, it can move it. It can move that aneurysm. And if that aneurysm goes to the heart or the lung, it, it would be fatal. Anybody out there know that? Then we are off the dump, we're learning. We're learning, because you know, this could happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. and for a long time, they didn't know what aneurysms were, and it did. It, it did kill people, whether it was in the brain or, you know. Mm -hmm. What did it do? Okay. Go through the body. Mm -hmm. find it can a move. rest in place. Yep, it can move just like a blood clot, and it and it, it'll stay there. What's the difference between that and blood clot? Well, blood clot is just that it's a blood clot and they can treat that they can dissolve that but an aneurysm you can't move it or there's not a lot you can do for an aneurysm but a blood clot can be dissolved with medication and resolved but an aneurysm it either moves or it breaks up mm -hmm. and, and there's consequences mm -hmm. we need to pray and even, even when people have strokes like that, even when they can talk, usually they're not saying what they want to say. They want to say, 
my shoes are red and something like, I need a cup of water will come out. <laughs> the brain just doesn't connect, you know? And for, he, he talks really well, really well. This is amazing. This is amazing to live through it. So the aneurysm caused your stroke? Mm-hmm. Okay. Caused all three of them. Mm-hmm. Aneurysm. Does it come from arrive from aneurysm? Anxiety could could what could actually cause it? Yeah, anxiety, stress, anything that would cause the heart not to pump correctly. You know, because your your heart is what excitement, tension, anything, blockage. Hmm. I'm not real sure what the cause of an aneurysm is, but I know that it, it, it's not it's not treatable like a blood clot. You you can't dissolve it or and he's had three strokes on account of the same aneurysm. Is it still there? How many your your hand is up? My wife lost his sister. Come on up, come on up here. I get to this 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 one is still working. He's still working. He's still working. This here is very interesting because maybe it could be avoided if we knew what to do in our lives. To stress, I think everybody did it by that some period of time. You know, maybe how much stress? Well, a lot of stress that causes a lot of tension. Or it does. Yeah. A lot of tension where everything is just. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. My sister lost, my wife uh, lost her sister back about 30 some years ago with an aneurysm. <laughs> and she was by herself. And she couldn't be no help either. Such as uh, Mr. Somerset. Mr. Somerset. Um, it was one of those things, I mean, it's not, it's not something common. But this was, and him having it three times, the same thing, it, I, it's sometimes unbelievable, but we don't know what the hell is this going to be like. My wife, she's not supposed to be here today. It was with her stroke. <coughs> She's had three. And the last one, she's not supposed to be here going to doctors. She's supposed to be gone. But the Lord is on her side. Amen. And that was a little over three years ago. She wasn't supposed to be here. But to bless the Lord, she's still here. Amen. But aneurysm, they come and go. I lost three other friends like that within the last year. Aneurysm. Had a friend this past this, this month on 16th, aneurysm. But we never know. Everybody is not perfect. Amen. We have to take it as it is. Yeah, that's fine. I have a couple issues, but nothing serious. I'm still able to get around. Amen. But that's what it is. That's that's life. But I hope it's the sunset. Best of recovery. Amen. I believe. You've been holding on for a long time. God has not allowed you to leave the earth. So it's got to be something that the love of God is resting upon you. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It's all right. Healing will come to you. God has allows his spirit to try you, work with you, upon you. 
just don't do nothing to me. Peace. Keep the commandment of God as you set this what the Spirit speaks to you. Keep And the Holy Spirit touch his side in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let it be done. Let it be done. Upon your approval. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
never walk, we may able to walk like that. God, but for what he's done so far, mm -hmm. for being me as far as he has brought me. Jesus did when he walked the earth. I don't know why they don't believe. I don't know if it's a matter of faith or maybe ignorance. People don't read their Bibles like they used to. They don't. They quote scriptures that they've heard and they quote them incorrect. It reminds me of the scripture where the devil knows the word and he tried to quote scripture to Jesus to have him jump off the cliff. But faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. 
Mm, well, to maybe everybody feel, feel as though you're all right. Don't need prayer. Mm -hmm. Well, also they are dependent upon medicine and doctors. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. it's here. A lot of people have a lot of faith in doctors. Yeah. They do. Uh, in I doctors, hear laughing. I hear laughing. But it's the truth, isn't it? Yeah. So that's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> They will not come, they will not seek for the help. So I just walk on. I said, Well, not all will be healed and not all will be saved. I've taken it that way. With all your hands being raised, and thank God for those who do believe and who will receive, and thank God for who's coming back in the door. Thank you. <laughs> Let's give the Lord a hand. Amen. Amen. 